Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel, Mathematics channel with really interesting, quick and relaxing question. And today we have a really great challenge for us, we have 6 divided by 3 divided by 6 divided by 3. And on the first side this is like the easiest question you've ever seen, because we don't have like a huge and complicated expression, we don't have any square roots right here, we have only only division, we have only like a low number, this is not like a huge number, thousand, hundreds, it is like a great number that everyone know about it, so we have 6 divided by 3, divided by 6, divided by 3. But here is the main question, what is the correct answer? Right here we have a lot of options, we have 3 options, and right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. It will be really interesting to check our answers, because this is a very tricky question, and to everyone make this mistake, everyone want to record this video, and this is up to you, what do you think is a correct answer? Choose one option, what do you think is a correct, and write your option down into the comment section, okay? Okay, here is our question, we have 6 divided by 3, divided by 6, and divided by 3. So here's our question, and right now we need to solve this. First of all, we can easily see that 6 divided by 3 equal to equal to 2, and we have the same expression right here on the right hand side. We have 6 divided by 3, which is equal to 2 as well, <clears throat> and with this division, 2 divided by 2. This is equal to equal to 1, and we have this option A. So a lot of students solve this question like that, and I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, I don't want to explain this solution right now, I want you to understand that in math we need to know about order of operation, we need to know how, how can we solve this correctly, step by step, and with a correct thoughts right here, because right here we jump from left to right, but is it correct or not correct? Here is the main question. In math we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem, and doesn't matter what question you have, you need to go and you need to apply the order of operation. And for example, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. And let's solve this question according to this order of operation and we will check with this option A, which is, I don't know, correct or incorrect, but a lot of students solve this question like that, they say that this is a correct approach. And right now let's solve this question according to PMDMC once more and we will check with this option A. So we have 6 divided by 3 divided by 6 and divided by 3. Okay, so we have this expression. This being you see, this is the order of operation. We need to go through the steps. So the first step is parentheses. Now we need to scan. Where do we have these parentheses? In our case, we don't have any parentheses, so we just we just skip this part, which is really great because with parentheses, just imagine if we have a parentheses and we raise to the power 20, we need to raise this before it goes to the next step. Okay, we don't have parentheses and it's really great. Okay, the next step, exponents. What about exponents? Let's look at it. Where do we have exponents? I don't see any powers right here, so we just skip this part as well. So we don't have parentheses and exponent, which is absolutely brilliant for us, because it's really hard to work with parentheses and exponent. We don't have it, and let's go to the next step. The next step is multiplication and division group. Now we need to find multiplication and division signs. Let's look at it. Where do we have multiplication and division signs? So right here we have division sign, the next one is division sign, and the next one is division sign once more. So as you can see right here, we have all the time we have division sign, we don't have any multiplication sign. So, but we have division sign. So this is our first first step to solve this question, to solve this order, we need to start from division. And moreover, we don't have any addition and subtraction. So we don't have a subtraction, addition sign right here. So we have only, only division sign, which is really great. But what is the correct order to do this problem? As I told before, right here, we jump from left to right. But according to PMDMC, there are a lot of differences between this order of operation. We need to go from, from left from left to right right here. And now we need to scan where do we have uh, this first sign from left to right. Maybe this one, this one, or this one. And we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. Of course, the first, first, first sign from left to right is this one. So 6 divided by 3, this is our first step. And we have 6 divided by 3, this is our first step right here, and 6 divided by 3 equal to 2. So we have 2 divided by 6, and divided by, by 3. This is our expression, our first step. But right now, a really interesting moment, because it goes back to this uh, to this answer, to this solution, we divide, three divide 6 divided by 3 on the right-hand side. But right here, we have this expression, and 6 divided by 3 we cannot divide as a second step, because we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right, and right here, the first sign from left to right. If this 2 divided by 6, this is not 6 divided by 3, as we, as we can see right here, yeah? So, 2 divided by 6, this is a completely different step. So 2 divided by 6 equal to 1 over 3, if you're talking about a fraction, and with this division by 3, we have our answer. 
equal to 1 over 1 over 9, which is really impressive because right here, as you can see, we don't have the same answer as, as right here. So what is the correct answer? This one, 1 over 9, if you're talking about order of operation, or this one, chaotic method, we jump from left to right and we solve this problem wherever we want. Of course, in math, we need to know what is the correct order of operation. And if you're talking about this, 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 this uh, expression, the correct answer is 1 over 9. This is option C. And I hope your answer is the same as mine. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this option A. This is incorrect option, but if if we, took, if we put parentheses, if we put brackets right here, then it will be a correct answer. So we have 6 divided by 3 a first step, 6 divided by 3 once more first step, because parentheses at first, and then option A is a correct. But we don't have parentheses, so the correct answer is 1 over 9. So I hope you understand my explanation, and I wish you all the best. Write your thoughts in the comment, and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.